still um, ask to be on the agenda. I did ask for our state president, Edward D. Rose, to also be on the agenda. I noticed there's only my name there. So. Okay. Uh, we will entertain Mr. DeBose's comment. All right, thanks. Uh, um, once again, we're here concerning the same allegations of the racial, you know, I guess I'm going to say hate crime, you know, because that's what it is, uh, it's a hate crime. And before I give the floor to Mr. DeVos, I just want to ask one simple question. Well, actually, two questions. And that is, what is the punishment that has taken place with these ones that have done this act? What is the punishment? That's basically, in regards to um, just the generic question, I guess, I, I'm thinking that you were specifically referring to the police department. Yeah, I want to know the punishment that has taken in the police department and the punishment that has been taken in the fire department. Well, obviously, the, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the issue in regards to the police department was uh, remanded to Mayor Commission at the appeal process. That action was taken in regards to their decision. Uh, as you know what that decision is. Please uh, get so, everybody know what So they, they reinstated that individual in regards to the actions or allegations in regards to the incident. So that's the first thing. The second thing uh, in regards to the fire department, I guess that's the other issue that you're referring to. Uh, the investigation was conducted at the individual in question who uh, made the statement uh, in regards to the issue uh, had corrective action or disparate action. Uh, I don't believe I'm at liberty to tell you what that specific action is, but there was corrective action in regards to that individual. Uh, and the individual in question, uh, if I recall right, had no issue in regards to uh, in regards to their promotion or impact in regards to that incident. It had no particular weight or bearing in regards to their promotion process in that period of time. So those are the two issues that I'm aware of in regards to that. Okay. Right, let me back to refresh your memory. We're not talking about a promotion. We're talking about the hangman noose that was placed around the neck of a fireman. What is the punishment for that? Okay. In regards to my investigation of the issue that I'm aware of, there was not a physical noose placed around a fireman's neck. There was a statement made in regards to that. That was an inaccurate issue that occurred. Unless someone knows something more than I know, and I questioned several people that were there and involved in that, that whole issue. So obviously this information was incorrect in regards to what all transpired. And actually, I would say this, uh, from the EEOC uh, statement, I guess, that that individual in question had, it did not speak of a physical noose being placed on that individual. It, it was speaking to comments or a statement made to that individual that that individual thought that had some bearing in relation to their promotion. That's what transpired. At this time, if the Commissioner Mayor don't mind, I would like to give the floor to our State President. Okay. Do you, do you, I think we should clear this up. Do you have a copy of both the investigations? Yes, sir. Okay. Both. I have a copy of the police investigation. I never was receiving okay. anything from the fireman's investigation. Okay. And well, you ask. Okay. I just well, I didn't. I don't know because I I've seen the police investigation, but I haven't seen the fire investigation. Exactly. We've never seen investigation on the fire.